what's going on guys so you probably can't see me you can see my hand there are my fingers there you are and I'm about to set off on a 11 hour straight drive road trip now 11 hours but what I mean what I mean by straight drive is it's driving time is 11 hours most likely it's probably gonna be about 15 hours for the entire trip we'll see if I spend the night at somebody's house or if I'm gonna end up doing the drive just straight through with like a couple hour nap. But first we gotta go pick up a horse and that's about four hours away. So let's go do that and I'll check in with you guys periodically. Now this is the longest towing trip I've had by myself. The last one was when I took my BMW to Georgia, but I had my dad with me and we switched driving for a little bit. So this one I'm gonna be completely by myself, so it should be fun. I'm taking you guys along for the ride. And like I said, I'll check in periodically and we'll see you guys in a little bit. So we just picked up two things in East Northeast Indiana. I got Xena in the horse trailer, which you can't see it behind that buggy that's back there. Oh, here we go, there we go. We got Xena in the horse trailer, and I got a buggy in the back. You can probably just look at the camera there. But yeah, so we got a horse buggy, a horse, and a whole bunch of other horse gear. And I'm pretty loaded up, so next stop is Kentucky. I'm gonna stop there to let the horse out we got about five hours to there I've driven from Kentucky home to Illinois with Xena before but this is a little bit different because we're gonna be stopping to let her out kind of like you would with a dog at a rest area but with a horse so we're gonna do that and then I've got to finish up the drive with another like three to four hours to Tennessee from Lexington We'll see how I'm feeling when I stop in Kentucky to see if I just want to nap for like an hour or two or stay the night. But again, we'll see when I get there, but let's hit the road. showing up on camera but we are currently sunny partly cloudy skies driving towards a wall of black okay it's like a blackish blue but still it's very dark in that direction and I'm not sure I like that very much well I think we're about to drive into it because I see a lot of wet cars and wet road somebody on a motorcycle who has stopped to put on his brake here it looks like smart move bud smart move and so it begins why could it have stayed nice oh well guys so it's morning time again but the same video now last night I got into Lexington a little later than expected because of weather conditions and traffic also why I wasn't filming too much 
was very focused on the road and what I was doing because I did not want anything to happen to me, truck, trailer, horse, or buggy. So the my rest stop was gonna be at a friend's place. They were gonna let me take the horse out for a couple hours at their barn, but I ended up spending the night there. Thank you very much to them because I appreciate that very much for letting me stay the night. They didn't have to, but they did, so that was very nice. So I'm heading out early this morning and should be there in about three and a half-ish to four-ish hours. Uh, GPS is telling me three hours, eight minutes to arrival, but I know I'll probably be making a gas stop along the way. So that usually takes me about half an hour to fill up and stuff like that, check on the horse. So I'm gonna expect about three and a half hours, maybe four. We'll see what traffic looks like, but it's early enough. It's before seven and it's just, look at that. That is beautiful. I don't know if it's coming. As well. It's better in person, not gonna lie. All right, anyways, I'll just catch you guys on the road. So, stuck in traffic, and I do mean stuck, not moving whatsoever, and we got Santa Claus over here. He's going south, I would say for summer, but summer's coming to an end. You should be going north. This car is even red, so it must be Santa Claus. It must be. Wait, oh, I thought the truck moved didn't. I'll take a nap now. <laughs> what year is it? Whatever year, we're still not moving. <sighs> well, I can tell the horse is just as restless as I am because she keeps moving the whole truck and trailer. As he was passing me, I also had a horse trailer hooked up to him. And something I usually do whenever I see somebody else with the trailer or towing something, I'll give like a little wave, like, hey, whether they see it or not, I I don't know. Holy moly, that thing is bright. Whether they see it or not, oh, that's the guy. Right there. Whether they see it or not, I give a little wave of courtesy slash respect of, hey, I understand the struggle. And I understand some people are complete ignorant to when it comes to towing and hauling and they don't respect us when we have our trailers They'll cut us off. They'll jump in front of us. I had some guy towing his 22 foot Supra wakeboard boat cut me off. It's like he forgot he had the boat on him I'm like a this isn't a dead load behind me. I have a horse in the trailer, so I cannot just slam on the brakes I laid on my horn so hard. I and he just kept going. I'm like but anyways, I give people little waves, and this guy passed me as he's coming along 
beside me. I see him do the same little wave that I do, which I thought was kind of cool because that that made me believe that I'm not the only one who gives little waves to anybody else with the trailer. Even if they're going the opposite direction, I'll just be like, hey, like, that's awesome. We're all towing something, we're all hauling something, whether it's for work or pleasure, what have you. It's, it's something we do because we enjoy it. And whether we enjoy it or it's just for work, we still do it and get it done. So I have respect for anybody who does it, especially semi-truck drivers, because, well, they're on the road a lot more than any of us. But anyways, I'm gonna quit talking here, get back on the road. Well, I am on the road, but keep going on this trip because we only got a little bit to go and hopefully it won't take too long to get there. All right, guys, we're pulling up to the barn right now. We have finished the trip. Now we just gotta unload the horse and the buggy which the buggy i have to contact the guy because i'm actually transporting it i somehow got hired for that job so oh well money's money right exactly so let's go and load the horse finish off this trip it was supposed to take one day took two days lots of weather and traffic accidents conditions that just were not very ideal for towing especially a horse all this way but we are done almost and trip went pretty well I would say so very happy with how the truck performed I can't say anything bad about this truck at all I mean granted I, I still have less than 60,000 miles but it's still fairly new in that essence however I put it through a lot of work so I think this is the place I am gonna put the camera down and unload the horse. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna do it or they're gonna do it. But anyways, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right guys, so we have made it. Zena's in her stall, all happy. She's eating hay. Got the trailer parked here where it's gonna be sitting for quite some time now. I'm gonna end the video here, guys. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, give it a big thumbs up if you didn't. Go ahead, give it a dislike, but let me know what I can improve on for next time. And it's kind of a different style video because I wasn't really showing anything. I was just kind of trailering a horse. And this was the first long distance by myself tow that I've had in a while. Slash also with the horse on board and weather did not cooperate. People were not cooperating just with traffic and everything like that. But otherwise, guys... I really hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button, and I will catch you later. Bye. I would laugh at that guy who actually watches this channel. Probably doesn't, but if he does for some reason, that would be hysterical.